All new tonight, we talked to the unlikely law enforcement officer who stopped the man arrested for firing shots on Shaw's campus this week. Now, I say unlikely officer because he's actually an alcohol beverage control officer. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb is live with us tonight with this story. And Harrison, why was an ABC officer on campus to begin with? Yes, yeah, so he just so happened to be here for an unrelated alcohol charge. That's when he heard several shots get fired. A case of being in the right place at the right time. I would normally have never been on that campus, you know, doing regular my day to day job and uh, just happened to put me in the right place. Michael Velez is an agent with the Wake County Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission. His work brought him to Shaw University's campus Tuesday for an alcohol charge. While meeting with the school's police chief, he heard gunshots. Where we were at, they, they sounded like they were really close. They immediately rushed toward the International Studies Center on Shaw's campus. You know you're on a college campus and you, you've, uh, you, you've dealt with it and heard enough about it and you know you just got to go and react. Velez credits bystanders for helping pinpoint the location of the alleged gunman, 74-year-old Kamal Rasul Abdal Rafi, who was upstairs. He was less than compliant. Velez held him at gunpoint. I have so many gunpoint. We're still trying to get further information. Waiting for more officers to arrive to help take Abdal Rafi into custody. Seemed like forever, but it probably wasn't a minute or so. No one was injured in the shooting. Velez now finds himself heralded for his actions. It's been a little overwhelming. A lot of people calling, um, but uh, all positive. Abdal Rafi made his first court appearance Wednesday. He's charged with multiple felonies and misdemeanors, including assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. Velez says his agency isn't typically in the limelight. He's thankful that this has allowed them to be viewed in a more positive light after this incident. Live in Raleigh, Harrison Grove, CBS 17 News. All right, Harrison, thanks very much. We appreciate it.